what is the boiling point of water in Breckenridge, Colorado, where the atmospheric pressure is 520 torr? To answer this question, we need the heat of vaporization of water, which is a positive 40.7 kilojoules per mole. Vaporization is an endothermic process. We know that um, boiling point is related to uh, vapor pressure. So the higher the atmospheric pressure, higher the atmospheric pressure, the higher the boiling point. So it's a, a directly related, but it's not a linear relationship. It's an exponential relationship. And the equation that lets us to answer this question is comparing two points on this exponential relationship. So we need a, a second point to uh, be able to drive our um, vapor pressure boiling point. So what we're going to use for our second point is the normal boiling point of water. One atmosphere pressure, 760 torr, has a boiling point of 100 degrees Celsius or 373 degrees Celsius. So we're going to use that as our second point to help us to calculate uh, the point at uh, Breckenridge, Colorado at 520 torr. So we're going to be looking for temperature. So let's say we're looking for a T2. So we're going to have a LN 760 torr. And as you can see, we don't, it doesn't matter what units we use for our pressure here. Since we're doing a ratio, the pressure units are going to cancel out. So 760 torr over 520 torr, natural log of that. We have our um, heat of vaporization. We want to match our units. So R is going to be in joules. So we want to convert our kilojoules into joules. So it's 40,700 joules per mole. And R, of course, is 8.3145 joules per mole. And it doesn't matter what we um, use for 1 and 2 in this, as long as we're matching them. So 1 is our normal boiling point of water. So it's 1 over 373 Kelvin. And we have to use uh, Kelvin in this absolute temperature scale. So we're looking for the uh, pressure associated with the 520 torr. So that is our unknown. So we just start reducing these numbers down. So we do the natural log. Let's see. It's be visible. Um, 760 divided by 520. So this whole term here is a point zero. No, point three seven nine. Three seven nine five. And I'll multiply this through. So we got uh, 4700 divided by 8.3145 divided by 373. So a negative 13.12 minus and a minus will give us a positive. Six there plus um, four eight nine five over P two. Uh, move this one over so uh, thirteen point one two three five plus point three three seven nine. 13.503 equals 48.92 over T2. T2 equals 48.92 over 13.503 equals... Three 
2.3 Kelvin. Uh, let's convert that into um, uh, Celsius. So in Celsius, that becomes 89.1 degrees Celsius. So using the exponential relationship of our big pressure with uh, temperature, uh, using a two-point version of that equation, we can use our boiling point as our normal boiling point as one of our reference points and calculate the temperature boiling point associated with any other vapor pressure that we want. So when the vapor pressure is 520 torr, the boiling point of water is going to be 89.1 degrees Celsius, a lower pressure equ equating with a lower temperature.